Now here we are going to talk about how we can use these break statements. If I'm talking about the break statement as we have discussed earlier, break statements what it will do? It will terminate the execution process of your entire loop and it will complete the execution till we have defined the break statement. So wherever you have defined a break statement before that all the loops which we have created will end over here itself. So if I want to just define the break statement we do not have any particular more of the commands or we have two different expressions used over here just we need to define the break after the loop once we have completed the case or if you have used any loop if else statements. So this is how we generally use the loop. Let us see how we can use our break statement into our existing loop over here. So we can use a break statement over here like I'm going to use a break statement function into the shell so that your you know the loop which has been formed or the you know the automation task which has been formed by your Linux operating system shell scripting which you have created uh, sometimes it gets you know creating uh, the values itself or you know, continuing the value itself but it won't be stopped so if you want to break those kind of loops what you will be doing is you will be using the break statement which we have seen now I'm going to talk about the how you can use the break statement right so for that I'll be creating a command and uh, sorry script that is a equals to zero and here I'm going to define well a condition uh, where my value of a is less than 10 correct so what should happen it should do that first it should print the variable and then it should add the value if it is equal to 5 so it is it should go on adding it so just a sec I'll just keep find a space in here and then I'm going to add it in such a way like if it is you know equal to 5 then I'm going to break it over there so I won't I don't want that it should go till 10 so I want that till if it is you know equal to 5 so uh, till 5 it should print post that it should not print so I'm going to break it somewhere right so for that I'm just going to define that if it is you know equals to 10 so break in between itself right and then if I give fi and a equals to same and will define expr like we are going to add go on adding the value into the variable a unless it is 10 but we will be breaking it in between so once we have done with that just give the done and then I'll come out of it and I'll run the same you can see in spite I have given it should you know go on adding till 10 but it will get breaked in between itself wait a while we have some error okay so well t -t, okay so this is the expression which I have added I just by mistake used the single quotation sign that is the error which I have okay so let us check this is the same okay then let's us run the same break dot as such. you can see it is printing only till 5 so if you do not have this break statement which we have added here correct if I do not add this break statement so what will it will do it will directly go on adding the numbers still I'm getting 10 so it might happen sometimes you have created a huge program and you not want that loops should be created you can break it wherever you want so this is about the break statement we generally have uh, so even we can have many of the you know commands or many of the shell scripting examples for this break statements like uh, if I am going to use the same like I'll use the break one and such a file 
and here also I can add for a in one two and three values so do for variable a that we are going to define in or we can define the variable b in 0 and 5 okay so it should be between 0 and b is between 0 and 5 so what you can do is you can define if your value of a is equal to 2 and the value of your b variable is equal to 0 then it should break because we have two different statements right we are defining from uh, b is for 0 to 5 and in 1 1 to 3 so I'm going to break in between so you can hear break right and else we can also define the both the variables a and your variable b okay i'll just end this particular statement and we'll done with the do loop your the loop which we have formed that is a for loop and once we have done with this uh, both the for loops i have ended over here and i'm going to save the same sh break one dot sh file i'm going to run so it's showing you it is having too many arguments so uh, i'm just going to again check for it So it should break on uh, break argument to itself. Okay, so the error is over here that uh, we haven't defined e here. Once you are done with that, again I'm going to run with the same break one dot sh and six again we have too many arguments just i'll set it a number so i'll come to know which is the six okay and hyphen a and i'm going to define that both the arguments i'm going to accept here again break one dot sh now i can see it is showing you only so zero and one and one one two five so these are the arguments so generally um what we missed was like while defining the argument into the two argument i have just breaked into the break one dot sh command and here i have seen like we should have only two arguments which will be written and here uh, as i'm going to use both the you know uh, argument so i'll be using hyphen a for adding it right so this is what exactly the the statement i have created where generally i'm using the break statement if i do not use the break statement it will go on creating the loops as we have defined the you know value in wind into this particular a and b so uh, this is what exactly the break statements are like we have seen two examples of your break statement into the uh, next video we are going to talk about the continuation of this particular statement so we'll be using continuous statement over here into the next video